from a very sleepy Josie. It is half past six in the morning and I have been up for a couple of hours actually, don't ask me why, I have no idea why I decided to wake up at four o'clock in the morning, but I got a little bit of work done, so all good. Charlie and I now have Simon coming to our house twice a week on Tuesday mornings and Thursday mornings for a PT session here in the gym. I do an hour and then Charlie does an hour. Simon will be here any minute now. It is absolutely freezing in here. Oh my goodness, it has suddenly become so cold here in England. So I'm actually gonna just turn this on. <gasps> Please work. Get some warmth in here while I warm up. We are doing mostly weight training um, because this is what I'm least confident doing myself. I find that I'm okay at motivating myself when it comes to doing things like the Peloton and using my Vaha, but I'm not very knowledgeable or motivated when it comes to doing weight stuff. So that's what I've been doing with Simon the last couple of sessions. And oh my goodness, <laughs> I feel it <laughs> the next day. I can really feel my muscles trying to recover afterwards. But anyway, I'm digressing from warming up by talking to you guys. So I'm gonna do my warm up and I'll catch you after the workout. proper good morning to you my darlings it's um it's gonna be a busy day today it's another shoot day with cat so she's gonna be here in just under an hour's time i am letting my <laughs> curls cool down a little bit we're currently t minus two days until my next hair or three days today's tuesday and the hair appointment is on Thursday, two days until my next hair appointment. So I'm currently using a lot of dry shampoo to try and hide my uh, roots at the moment. It's very overdue. I used a curling wand for the first time in a very long time. So hopefully the curls will last today. I found that I, I, I always find, even though it's mainly the color that needs doing, I find that when I'm overdue a trip to the hairdresser, I just cannot get my hair to look right, but never mind, never mind. So before Kat comes today, I've got, a, I've got something very exciting which I'm going to unbox with you. Potentially a second pair of wedding shoes because I have potentially, again, don't have the dress yet, so can never be 100% sure. Um, I think I've got the pair that I will wear under the dress for the times when the shoes won't be seen but then I did also want a pair that are a little bit more fun a little bit more sparkly that would be great for dancing and if I don't know if I'm going to change dress or not if I do and I go for a shorter dress then this second pair um, will be perfect for that so they are in here it is a pair of shoes from Jimmy Choo and I'm also, I'm not going to save these for our wedding, I'm planning on wearing them throughout the festive season as well. I do love a sparkly pair of shoes and this particular style is a style that I do already have or had. <laughs> Remember I lost one, I'm so annoyed with myself, I seem to only have one of my pinky, I think they're called the Bayer, is it Bayer? Bing. I only have one of my, my pinky Bing meals from Jimmy Choo, which is very, very annoying. Before I show you the shoes, let me tell you about a way that you can get 10% off brands like Jimmy Choo, Max Mara, so many amazing brands that you wouldn't normally be able to get 10% off. Basically, the day that you're watching this, I believe will be the 22nd. Yes, it will be. Okay, the day that you're watching this is the day that Harrods will launch their rewards exclusive 10% off for the rewards card holders. It's totally free and really easy to sign up to Harrods Rewards. I have been a Harrods Rewards member for probably like five years now. It's super quick and easy to sign up. And one of the main benefits to signing up to Harrods Rewards is that every now and then, I would say it's probably like twice a year, exclusively for the rewards shoppers, they offer 10% off most of the brands. And this is across uh, the actual Harrods store, Harrods Online, H Beauty, um, I think even airport stores as well. And these are brands and products that normally you cannot get 
any discount on or you have to wait until like the Christmas boxing boxing day sales and sometimes <laughs> you just don't want to wait so it's not too late I hopefully a lot of you guys might have seen a little reminder I'm gonna post a reminder on my Instagram stories today to um, remind people to get signed up but it literally happens in like a matter of minutes definitely worth doing you can also collect points that will go towards your next purchases and you don't even need to remember your card because you can have it on your digital you can have a digital card on your phone on an app and you can keep track of everything there so it's really really easy to use highly recommend and at the moment especially worth signing up because you get access to the 10% off in fact there's quite a lot from Jimmy Choo on my wish list at the moment I also loved this pair with the bows on them so let me know whether you prefer that pair or the pair that's in here and also Harrods Beauty have some amazing things so if you have got any luxury beauty products or perfumes on your wish list that don't normally go down in the sale this is just an epic time to get those so without further ado let's undo this beautiful box and let me share with you my gorgeous new footwear oh my goodness these are literally like cinderella slippers can you see the sparkle they are glittery oh my gosh so they're a white mule but completely covered in glitter so i have got a style had have to start using past tense had a style like this in the past so i know that they are super comfortable this detail is just so flattering so leg elongating with the point perfect heel height for wearing all day long i just think they are absolutely stunning i will try them on for you a little bit later when i'm not wearing a dressing gown this is literally the softest dressing gown in the entire world and it was super affordable so i'm gonna <laughs> leave this link down below as well as i will leave um a link down below to where you can sign up to harrods rewards and also a few of my favorite pieces so i got these in a size 36 and a half i would say i normally wear a size 36 in trainers i wear a size 37 if that helps at all with the sizing i just think they're absolutely stunning bridal appropriate but also as i said i'm not going to save them i am going to wear these at christmas time if i have any special events in fact i have got a very special evening tomorrow with one of my favorite beauty brands not sure if that'll be in this vlog or the next one but um I just find shoes like this so versatile. So very happy to have these in my collection, but let me know, do you prefer these or the ones on the screen here with a bow? Cause that was the other pair that I was really toying up. I also loved this pair, uh, also available on Harrods that are super glittery, like big chunks of glitter, but they didn't have those in my size. So I think they are just absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna give them a try. obviously totally bonkers wearing them with a dressing gown but i literally feel like cinderella they are so beautiful just so sparkly and they are seriously comfortable considering how high the heel is they are very very comfortable shoes look how they sparkle oh, i love them well this is a treat i came downstairs to start making my morning smoothie and charlie has already begun but it is battle of the smoothies, battle of the smoothies. i genuinely do prefer the taste of mine but i think the texture of yours is better well, I don't know, the th thing is, yours are probably, you probably, look, everyone's different, you like yours. The thing is... Do you put almond butter in yours? I'm not going to in this one. <gasps> I, I've, I look, I'm getting super, I want to super control what I'm putting in my, in my body now. Yeah. In the week. And from a few books I've read, I've started to appreciate that actually, unless a doctor tells you you've got a, a lactose intolerance, mm. milk is not bad for you. No. Oat milk, which lasts for a year. Don't tell me anything bad about oat milk because I love it. And all I'll say is anything that doesn't go out of date within a week of opening it. Warning signs. Question it. I was okay. using a salicylic acid that was two years old. See, I don't know how it works with cosmetic products because... Probably even work well, just well, as bad. I don't know, though. Salicylic know. acid as well. It's probably burning holes in my face. Anyway, so what's in your well, smoothie? Quickly, there is a caveat in that because when right. it says on a fruit thing, raspberries used by this date, mm -hmm. ignore that. Just look at them <laughs> yeah. and make sure that if they're... If they're not okay. mouldy, you should have a mint. Yeah, so that, there's, there's, there's a different element to it. But anyway, I'm sure it's all stuff your audience already know. But anyway, what we've got in here, so we've got raspberries and blueberries. I try and always buy the British ones. 
but we are now growing our own raspberries. We are. So probably this time next year, we'll have plenty for our own mm -hmm. use. We um, also, um, did you shove in a handful of the black currants that we picked? Blackberries? We haven't got any yet, so we need to go and pick some more. Did we, we use them all? We've used them all. Oh, okay. So we're going to go and get some more. T today's smoothie, we probably won't do uh, blackberries. Because I'm hungry. But we've got um, a banana in there, milk, and then um, organic, basically full fat yogurt. Ooh. This is the one I get from m &S. It's 10% fat. So it's not been fiddled with. Because okay. this is the other scary thing. If anyone knows of Tim Spector, if you go and look up Tim Spector's Instagram, mm. it is quite worrying how on a shelf you've got like a Yeo, Yeo Valley. Mm. Yeo Valley, the green carton is really good. Is really good. Right. The blue one has been like strained. It's got like um, low fat. I don't know what they use, but mm. they use essentially man-made products in yeah. to bring the fat content down. Yeah. So anyway, Basically, this is what we're going to have. We've both just done our workout, feeling good. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put a bit of this in as well, aren't we? My favourite. Um, Honestly, this makes such a difference with how um, full I feel. Like, I don't feel the need to snack when we put this in our morning smoothie. So this is the Wild Nutrition Vegan Protein Superfood Blend. They only make it at the moment in the berry flavour. I'm hoping they might bring out some other flavours too because I'd love like a chocolate or something. Do you know what? I'd um, love a non-flavoured one. Non what? To be honest, I don't think you can really f taste the flavour. I don't. I like this, but I'm just saying I would love... Sometimes Flavorless. I like the, the stuff that you're putting in it, the yeah. berries and the bananas, to do the talking and then but just the protein. Powder. From everything that you've just said, that's why we love Wild Nutrition because it's all... Um, like natural, it's food sourced ingredients within here as opposed to anything artificial, it's all lovely natural And I think the other key thing is, and I'm, I, I, obviously this is a partnership you've got, but funnily enough, I bought Wild Nutrition, didn't I? Mm. They were the vitamins I chose. I don't take a lot of vitamins, but cause that's another key thing I think. With when it comes to vitamins, I yeah. think, say you're a vegan, then yeah. I think you should probably look at taking certain vitamins to make up for the fact you're not getting those vitamins from your diet. Yeah. But equally, it is worth seeing your doctor to make mm. sure you have an have a uh, if you're you're insufficient in something yeah. before taking it because yeah. it, there's there's a bit of a culture like my mum and dad were like we we'll just take fish oil it's like well you eat a lot of fish already mm. so I don't know if you need more so it, the caveat is Wild Nutrition almost certainly have a product for you. But make sure it's the right product for you. Yeah. Don't well, you can actually call them and have a free 15-minute call with their nutritionist. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's good. And it's important you do because mm. we all probably, that it, me included, and I'd like it's on my to-do list again, them done again. If you're fatigued in the afternoon, mm. it could be that you're low in something. Yeah. And it might be that you take something like this, or it might be okay. I need a bit more red meat in the week, or I need a banana for potassium, mm. or whatever it might be. But anyway, there's a lot more to it, and I think yeah. the danger. And we're part of this and we're always talking about how we can be better as social media people is there's a lot of misinformation on social media mm. and there's a lot of confusing messaging that basically we all then suddenly think, oh, I'm a bit bloated after milk, I must have a lactose intolerance. Yeah. And you're like, well, is it that or is it or something Or is it else? the fact that you had 17 Yorkshire puddings yeah, the weekend? Yeah, exactly. Or is it that you've not had milk for two weeks and then you Daddy, I that? love milk-based products. I, I don't discriminate against any kind of milk. I actually cheese. Parmesan is my I thing. love Parmigiana, regardless. Oh, anyway, mate, get so blending because I am Rav. Get we are <laughs> get wazzing. We're actually borrowing Lala's Thermomix because I think I grated the Parmesan too um, dramatically when I was doing the cauliflower cheese cheese preparation. When you think about it, we've had a good run because we've never had an issue with the Thermomix. No. We've had them for about five years until yeah. yesterday. Yeah. So it probably needs like a service or something. So we're pinching Lala's and ours is currently in the dishwasher. Hopefully it'll sort itself out. Are you keeping guard, children? Here we go. One minute. Do you know what? What? I actually missed this one, Mix. Well, isn't the it funny that the, yeah, the chef said that they prefer the old ones? Yeah, the restaurant we went to on Saturday night, Chandra's Arms. Arms, the chef came out, the uh, mate's mother, owner, and he was chatting to us. And they've got two of these, mm. but they actually bought them second hand because they wanted the old one. Apparently the old ones are actually now worth a lot of money. Cray because cray. in the chef industry they all prefer not having a I like room. this one because I can do all my recipes. I think I think in a kitchen Quit trapping and get wazzing. Not that high! 
Okay, we are starting today's shoot down in the kitchen garden. We are creating a little uh, autumnal setup to show how to create the perfect autumn G&T with the Chase uh, pink grapefruit and pomelo gin. I used it to make the blackcurrant or blackberry uh, smash the other day and it was went down very, very well with our guests. It was the blackberries with some honey, some thyme, um, what else? two shots of the gin all muddled together. It was absolutely delicious. We have just added some leaves, some foliage to this little setup and Kat is snapping away. Have you got a thermal on under that jumper, darling? Sorry? Have you got a thermal on under your jumper? No. <gasps> oh, you do! <laughs> thermal twins. <laughs> <laughs> had more of your smile what if the wind could spread your love what if your sweetness could reach everyone there'd be no wars mm -hmm. maybe the birds will sing about your heart okay we have had a great start to the shoot day i've taken my top brace out but leaving the bottom one in and I feel like you can't really see it in photos and then between shots I'm putting my top one back in <laughs> so I can try and minimize the amount of time that I don't have the brace in but I've just popped on this really gorgeous dress which literally just arrived from a brand called Misa Misa Los, oh, still got such a list, but Misa Los Angeles and I have just added some really beautiful jewellery, some lovely bits from Monica Vinida. This necklace is such a gorgeous one. I was wearing this when we were in Catalonia as well. Um, and you can actually change this pendant. So at the moment, I think it's really pretty with this matte gold, almost astrological style pendant. But you can also add a pearl. So I might change it up between different outfits. And it's just a really classic um, flat snake chain so it looks really good without anything on it as well the earrings i won't be changing between shots so i've just popped on my really classic also monica vinader they're like a little rectangle hopefully you can see um and then it's got the diamonds down at the front side so every now and then just catches the light and looks so beautiful <laughs> just pop you up there in my basket to show you my bracelets because they're on the hand that I hold the camera with. So I have got on this wrist this really beautiful rope style bracelet and I just love this colour of the gold. It's like a very yellow gold which I think looks so beautiful with these warm autumnal colours um, and all of the jewellery is the same yellow gold and actually the metal that Monica Vinader used is all recycled which is really good to know and I'm really mixing and matching between the different ranges from Monica Vinader today. This is their everyday diamond pieces for the rings. I really love this middle one, it's very twisty, very kind of natural in its shape and then this wave kind of shaped one on the top there. To be honest, I think I'll probably do most of the shoot in this jewellery. Um, it looks really nice with these kind of bohemian dresses, but also this yellowy gold I think looks gorgeous with cream knitwear like I was wearing in the last shot. So I shouldn't need to change it too much between the shoots. Ooh, my camera wants to focus on the tray. So we're now going to load up the car and head to the beautiful Cornwell house. Um, there's Cornwell and there's Cornbury <laughs> around here. We're heading to Cornwell house, which is such a beautiful location. Normally we just take photos here in the house and around our house, but it's really nice to get to shoot loads of photos somewhere else. So we're gonna head there now, got a car full of clothes and hopefully get some gorgeous photos that should, that I'll be able to share on my Instagram and on the blog over the next few weeks. I must say, I did think that my lisp or my weird <laughs> mouth movements around my brace would have gone by now, um, but I feel like we're nearly there. Maybe it's just something that I'm noticing. So let me know if you guys are seeing an improvement or if, I'm just doomed to have a list for the whole time I've got my retainer in. Gosh, I have so many warning signs coming up on my car. Um, I also forgot to mention that if you have got any gorgeous Monica Vinader bits on your wish list, I will show a few more of my favourites on the way back. They just let me know that they have extended the 20% discount code, which is very, very kind of them. So if you have got anything on your wish list, you can use Josie MV20 and that will get you 20% off. Charlie has been faffing with my seat settings. Naughty boy.
closed away as soon as the sun comes out. That is when I am shooting the thickest and warmest outfit. This is gorgeous. I've still got my thermal on underneath the jumper, then my cozy knit, and then this absolutely heavenly coat that you might remember from last year from Holland Cooper. We're just getting some snaps in this gorgeous, more formal garden area. If you see behind Kat, the beautiful lakes. So lovely and typical, as soon as we stop shooting, the clouds come out. <laughs> Such a gorgeous place to shoot. Very grateful to Charlotte from the team for letting us snap here. Back home again and we have almost finished shooting for the day. I have swapped out the little pendant on my necklace. I've changed the star pendant for this lovely little pearl, a little bit more classic for the dresses that I'm wearing for these last few shots at home. And we are just finishing off a couple of reels and I just had my delivery from Flowered of my new bouquets. And these are actually the final versions. The ones I showed you before were still just needing a few minor tweaks. So I think we're gonna get a few snaps of the finished bouquets. So here we are, my final two bouquets for autumn with flowered. I would love you guys to let me know down below if there are any bouquets or wreaths or anything like that that you'd love to see us uh, creating it together. So this one here is the autumn crunch bouquet. I did show you this last time, but we've got these gorgeous, very long lasting leaves. They have been preserved, so they will last a really long time. They'll definitely last you all autumn. And then the most beautiful colored hydrangeas, these like greeny purple hydrangeas, and they dry out so spectacularly. I think the roses look gorgeous in there. They won't last as long. I mean, they'll last a couple of weeks, but, um, not as long as the hydrangeas and the leaves and then also the beautiful poppy heads which again you can dry out and then you can use them as christmas decorations or just have a really simple vase with dried poppy heads which i think looks absolutely beautiful i really wanted this one to be a lot more of a long lasting bouquet that you can literally leave in your home all autumn and winter and it'll still look absolutely fabulous and then this one here if you didn't necessarily want the fresh elements like the roses this one is completely perfect for drying out everything in here will dry out and look almost identical to how it does now so it really is an everlasting um bouquet you've got these ginormous poppy seed heads which will turn brown and crispy after a couple of weeks and then again the ginormous hydrangeas and I have never known anyone to get hydrangeas quite as big and beautiful as the ones that flowered get so I'm going to pop these in a vase as well just with a few inches of water and that's really all you need to do in order to dry them out Good timing, Kat has now just gone home. I have my tidying up to do, but first I am just gonna undo my all plants. This has just arrived. And this week I have got, it looks like it's melted a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. This is essentially a morning smoothie blend. So if I'm feeling very lazy, I can just stick this in the blender with some of my wild nutrition. And that's my breakfast sorted. Then, oh my gosh, I didn't, oh, I forgot that I'd ordered this. Sticky banoffee pudding sharer. Oh, so delish. This is all um, recyclable as well. And then this, they could either collect the box and all of the packaging and recycle it for you. But what I actually do is I use these for um, thermally protecting my plants throughout winter. So now at this time of year, I'll start to keep all of this padding. I think it's all recycled sheep's wool or recycled mattresses or something. Uh, we've got another smoothie packet. I think I just ordered loads of different smoothie packets to try and decipher which one is my favorite. A quick unboxing and we have got, I ordered smaller portions at this time because where sometimes Charlie adds fish or he even sometimes does add meat because obviously these are plant-based, um, we found that they were actually a little bit too big before. So I've got the butternut and spinach curry truffle mushroom orzo yum and this is the kind of thing that would take me ages to make so on days like today when you had a shoot day you guys have heard me saying it a million times before i'm just obsessed with all plants kale and chickpea dal and oh my gosh tofu tikka masala what do i feel like tonight probably this one actually that sounds scrumptious um and as always i'll leave my discount code down below 
let's fit these in the freezer. Okay, my darlings, I've gone from one lovely outfit to another lovely outfit. I'm currently trying it to find something to wear tomorrow evening. I have got a staycation with one of my favorite beauty brands um, and I'm just trying on a few new dresses. I absolutely love this one from Reese. I feel very kind of like the Oscar, <laughs> the Oscar doll. Um, however, it is unfortunately just a little bit too big for me here on the neckline. It needs to be up here and probably here. Like so, which unfortunately it is not. So I'm gonna have to wear something that I have already tailored. Gosh, this lighting is totally bonkers. I can hear Charlie talking to the dogs downstairs and it is very cute. But as soon as I'm wearing a lovely dress, I thought I would try it on with the fabulous Jimmy Choo's. It's one of these dresses where I feel like it is worth persevering with because it's so beautiful. Oh, that just looks so gorgeous. And it's also the perfect length for showing off these shoes. Oh my gosh. That looks so beautiful. And I love this champagne colour and material. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry about the mess in the background. That is the post photo shoot mess for you, but it is the dress is just the perfect length for showing off the shoes. And I feel like because they're white, they will just go with all of the fabulous dresses in my wardrobe. I don't know how smart it's meant to be tomorrow night. Um, I feel like this might actually be a little bit too dressy. I have just been invited to a premiere on Sunday. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to go because it's a Sunday, um, but this would be a fabulous premiere red carpet outfit. What do we think? Obviously it does need that little bit of lifting so that it fits me perfectly like this. Okay, this is another option for tomorrow night. It is a Zimmerman dress which I've had in my wardrobe for a little while and I didn't wear it yet, as you can see from the label. Um, I feel like this is a strong contender. It's a little bit kind of autumnal, um, giving a nod to the new season because of the green colour. And yet, where it is sleeveless, it's still appropriate for the current warmer temperatures. I think I would probably swap the Jimmy Choo's for maybe a gold coloured shoe. But if you are on the Harrods website at the moment, I believe you'll be able to get Zimmerman in your 10% off as well. So have a little look there in case they have got one of the pieces that has been on your wish list. You know what, I'm just so desperate to go downstairs and take my makeup off that I am gonna decide that this is what I'm going to wear tomorrow night, pop this in my suitcase, take my makeup off, and then I need to tidy the absolute mess, which is my post photo shoot pile of clothes. from a greenhouse, not my own greenhouse. We are here today at the Belmond Le Manoir Hotel in Oxford. It's just under an hour from our house because today we have a day-long gardening course. Um, here at the Belmond Le Manoir, it's where Raymond Blanc has his two Michelin star restaurant and they have also just started doing gardening courses. So that's what Charlie and I are doing today. We get to have a tour of the gardens, learn about lots of the ingredients and how they work so perfectly for the cooking, um, as well as lots of tips on growing your own veg from seed. So it should be a very educational day and also a great excuse to have a look around the hotel. We have wanted to come here for quite some time um, so this should be a really nice introduction to the Belmont and hopefully we'll learn a thing or two about veg growing as well. prank on one of the chap's seats. <laughs> that one's, I don't think he's planted anything in there, do I? No, I know, but I don't want to completely lose. 
So we've spent some time this morning sowing some seeds. <laughs> Charlie's going to pop this. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's grown! That's amazing! <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> See what he says. <laughs> lovely tour of all the veg gardens. Next we are heading into one of the greenhouses. We're going to pick some tomatoes to have for our lunch and some basil. These are our workstations that we've been working from today. We've planted some seeds, we've learned about different soil types, we've had tours of all the gardens, learned about the micro herbs. through this magical little archway into the organic vegetable garden. There's also the 17th century water garden, Japanese tea garden and the herb garden. And this is where so many of the ingredients for the cookery school and the Michelin star restaurant are grown. We've just been told how, how much money it can save a place like this by growing their own fruit and vegetables, even on micro herbs alone, saves them over 50,000 pounds a year, which is just incredible. I always find it really interesting to compare professional gardens like this to my own. We've got some similar beans growing, they've got a huge pumpkin patch, some climbing beans, dwarf beans, celeriac, which I didn't grow this year. Um, and it's always reassuring that it's not, you know, it's not perfectly tidy, it's just a real working garden working a lot harder than mine but <laughs> it's just nice to compare. We have just had a delicious lunch, one of the signature dishes here, Raymond Blanc's mama's uh, soup recipe and now we're having a little look around the gardens. Their pond is the same colour as ours which makes me feel a little bit better about the state of our own pond. I think it's all the greenery and foliage that falls into it and then the lack of lack of movement of the water. Not quite as much debris now, it's just not a lot grows it. Isn't it? Wow, this is lovely. But the other thing is you can't grow water lilies in a pond with a current. Mm. So if they had a current in here, these wouldn't be very happy. Oh. Yeah. So you kind of can't, you've got to pick and choose what you want really. just been given a half hour break to look around the gardens. We've just been wandering around, admiring all the different things that they are growing. It's a very lovely group. It's Charlie and I, two other gentlemen and a lady that are um, in the workshop today. So nice and intimate. We are learning a lot. It's hard to know what to wear to a gardening workshop. So I popped on this very warm and cozy Joseph jumper dress, my Gucci belt, little YSL cowboy boots, and my Chloe bag with all of my essentials inside. So I think we're gonna do a little bit more seed sowing and down in the glass house. And then we've been told at three o'clock we are going to be having some lovely lemon cake. Um, the lunch and the cakes have all been made by the cookery school where I think Raymond teaches chefs to become Michelin star chefs. Um, and I have to say the food has been exceptional. So we definitely need to try and book a lunch or dinner here at some point soon. What's the benefit of braiding garlic? It's good for storage, keeps oh, it neat and okay. tidy and aerating. So you can see here, if you leave as well, these separate stems. So, first of all, we will add the first one to the middle, then opposite side over. Yeah, it's on the French <laughs> And then, oh, have you just stolen my third one? <gasps> 
first one's over to the right. So into that's the middle. down centre. So you always add the stem okay. to the centre, then this side okay. into the middle. No, nope, just one, isn't it? That's yeah, it. Both oh, both. Yeah. Both to the middle. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next one. Now this one goes back in here. That's it. To the centre. To the centre. And then, and then the opposite up. side. That's it. Ooh. And then keep it nice and tight. Right, yeah. Then this one. Yeah. Center. This is looking good. Oh, yes. That's it. Into the rope Beautiful. There you go, sir. All right, pressure is on. Thank you. Uh, we're, we're late to going out. <laughs>